Now, folks, uh, every year we welcome a new member into our Hall of Fame, and rarely has an inductee been more deserving than tonight's choice. Jack Charlton changed the course of Irish football when he took charge of the national team in 1986. And last week, one of his former players, Ray Houghton, went to meet him. Me and Morris put a letter out to all the clubs in the country saying, uh, could they put this on the thing in their dressing room? Any players of this club who have any Irish parents, would they please get in touch with us? We did, we did quite well. We did one of few players that you hadn't heard of, but we'd had a good look at. You look at 1990, Jack, to get to the quarterfinals, the last day against Italy, it was a great achievement, wasn't it? To only get beat 1-0 by the, the, the host country, which was Italy, and we went and played in that beautiful stadium with all them people there, and we only got beat 1-0, and that was acceptable. Mick Byrne was the physio, and you promised Mick if we got to Rome, you'd get him an audience with the Pope. With the Pope. Yes. What was, your, what was your memories of that? <laughs> All the players were called together to meet the Pope. And they all went and did, and I didn't because I was a, I'm, I'm not a Catholic. And then suddenly John Paul asked to see me. And I said, well, I'm not, I don't know, I'm, you know. So anyway, I went down and I shook hands with him and we, we just talked. And it was about, about football because he was a football fan. He said, I know you, you're the boss, yes. <laughs> Best wishes to you. That was nice. I really enjoyed that that, that moment then. You've got a house in Ballina. Yeah. You you still go back as much as you can. You still love Ireland. You still I love still, uh, yeah. Um, um, I started off going down on the west coast with the Blackwater and going fishing with the lads and everything. And then I, I, we we went round one day and up up the coast there were some houses. So we bought one, and we've still got it. What about the manager, Giovanni Trapattoni? Do you know, great, you must have played against him, came out. <laughs> you must know about him. I didn't play against I, I can't remember playing against him, but he said to me, I, I had a, a, a couple hours with him one day. We sat down at night, and we just discussed a game of football. I got on very well with him. We, we had a little laugh, we had a little giggle about different things that happened in the game of football and that. I'm kind of happy to see him still do what he's doing because we're not out yet are we not yet not yet i suppose the the big question is what is the one memory that you'll take away from your time with ireland your ghoul <laughs> <laughs> your header for a thing i mean it's very rarely that a player who has never ever headed the ball at ghouls suddenly did it and scored. No, that was that was one of the happy days. Everybody knew about it then. Jack, it gives me great pleasure to present you with the RTE 2012 Hall of Fame Award. I think you've thoroughly deserved it, and I'm sure everyone in Ireland would like to say thank you for everything you've done for the country. It's a long time since I did anything for the country, but thank you very much for this. It's very nice and much appreciated. Lovely, great to see Jack Charlton looking so well and really is a long overdue inductee to our Hall of Fame. Now, our next nominee for Sports Person of the Year with 